Uh, Philip, we were hearing there in that report, sir, from Caris about tomorrow, the National Assembly, an important day. Can you give us an idea why? Uh, yeah, it's an important day, but it comes right in the middle of a political mess, Angela. And that is not going to make this an easy day tomorrow because it's going to be the election of the a speaker of the National Assembly, which is the most important election, but also the heads of the different commissions, uh, including the Finance Commission, which is the one that's most hotly wanted. Uh, the problem is that, as we've been hearing in that report, no political groups in France have an absolute majority following the dissolution of the National Assembly last month and the elections, which took place in two rounds, a second round being earlier this month, where only the left-wing grouping of four parties got enough seats to be victorious in that election. But they didn't get an overall majority. You need 289 seats to get an overall majority. They only got 193, which is almost 100 short. So there is a lot of infighting going in because they have been asked to nominate a candidate for prime minister. The problem is, in that four-party grouping, there are three parties that get on quite well with each other, the Communists, the Greens and the Socialists. But there's one party they don't get on with, and that's the far left France Unbowed party. But they won the most seats out of that four-party grouping, and they feel that they should have the right to put forward a candidate who is going to be prime minister, something that the other three parties don't agree with. So we've had a couple of candidates uh, put forward this week. One is uh, Huguette Bello, who's a regional advisor for uh, the French overseas territory of La Réunion. Uh, she's close to France Unbowed. Her candidacy was turned down by the Socialist Party. Then we had another candidate put forward, this time by the Socialist Party, the Communists and the Greens, whose name is Laurence Tubiana. She was turned down by the far-left France Unbau Party. So they can't agree, and this is dragging on and on and on. The only thing that these four parties agree with and why they won the most seats in this election is their hatred for Marine Le Pen and the far-right national rally. That brought them together in a rush to try to put together an ad hoc grouping which would have enough support to win the election and stop the national rally from getting an overall majority or taking power. That they succeeded in doing. Now the hard bit is trying to agree with each other about what to do now they've actually come first in this election. In the meantime, there's something else happening, and that is that Emmanuel Macron is looking at all of this and saying it's a real mess. I may have been responsible for it, but there is an open door for me maybe to try to build up some kind of majority for myself, not an open majority, but a majority bigger than the left-wing majority with my uh, group, which won uh, 164 seats, plus the socialists, because they're annoyed with the left-wing grouping, and maybe even the right-wing Republicans, who could also join forces, and then we'd have more seats than the left-wing coalition, and we'd be able to form a government. It's dragging on and on, and guess what's happening? We have the Olympic Games starting in just about nine days' time, and a lot of people are worried that if there's no government during the Olympic Games and there's a major problem in France, this could all fall flat. So tomorrow is a very crucial election, to come back to your question, uh, for the head of the National Assembly. And are, are they likely to be able to agree on that, well, then, that tomorrow if they can't? We don't so know. To... We'll have to wait until tomorrow. But my little birdie tells me probably not. OK, thanks very much. Philip Tull there giving us the latest on those deadlocked talks here in France amongst the left-wing alliance and talks going on elsewhere as well.